welcome to yet another episode of Coffee Chat. Um, it's my pleasure this month to be able to interview our beloved Abhinav. <laughs> Hi everyone. Um, yeah, so Abhi, um, what's been on your mind lately? What have you been thinking about? What have been what has been keeping you awake at night? For sure. Yeah, that's a great question. I think you know I'll answer this with maybe something personal and, and something also on, on a professional side. I think so. Personally, I think something that's been on my mind is is the importance of slowing down. I think by the time that we're hitting June, things are moving at a really fast pace. You know, mm -hmm. there's a lot of like goals and vision for the year, so you really feel like you're in this rhythm. And sometimes in that rhythm, you can also feel like you're you're pressing the accelerator a bit too fast. And so it's been interesting for me to remind myself to to take it a bit slow uh, and just ease myself into the rest of the year, right? Um, I, I think there's so much more to come for the year and, and obviously beyond as well. And so I just want to take it easy. And so that's been something that's been in my mind of how do I do that while not losing the momentum of this part of the year? Um, so that's been something that's been kind of you know hovering around my head. I think on a, on a professional level, I think there's a, a couple of things that's in my head uh, right now for the, the organization that's been interesting. Um, the, the one conversation that I think we've been having a lot that's been on my head is, is around the conversation of, of growth and how do we plan for the growth of the organization while kind of staying true to our mission uh, and to the quality of the work that we provide at Bean Voyage, right? Um, for, for many of you who, who follow us and know us, we've always valued kind of the small, um, you know, direct to producer programming as our, our core approach, and that's I think something that we've been quite proud of. Um, and, and now we're, we're starting to see opportunities where there's a, there, we seem to have a pretty good uh, special sauce, a working formula for what we do and, and how it creates impact in terms of eradicating the gender gap. But, but then the question becomes, how do you do that for a larger group of people? And as an organization, finding that balance is really tricky. And I think that's keeping me up at night for, for, for us to kind of think about it. And I know for, for a fact that that's true for the rest of the team as well and for you as well. So that's, I think, something that's been on, on the top of my head. Yeah, thank you for sharing. And going back to your personal point, like, I think taking, taking it slow, you know, mm -hmm. Kind of like shows when I was starting the interview, I didn't even like give any introduction, and I like literally. Went <laughs> so it's like I think what I have been also thinking about of like how do I actually like take you know pause um, in in different spots and actually appreciate little things in life. Um, yeah, and also on the point about growth, I think that's something that resonates with me a lot. Like I think we are what in our fifth year. Um, of like running this organization so somewhat I think we are now going um, above that like the baby you know area like or era of like of organization and kind of like thinking about what is ahead of us for sure. Yeah, yeah thank you for sharing. Yeah. Um, and you in the, in the newsletter um, spoke a little bit about you know, making time to do something that sparks you, right? And like that's something that we can really try to incorporate into our um, day to day lives, but especially around like the time that we make for each other um, as, as founders. We have this thing called office hours where we bring in big items and to discuss as founders and then spend time thinking about it and talking about it, right? And we've recently like, you know, um, have introduced a new concept. Can you tell us a little bit more about that and also what sparks story for you? For sure, yeah. So this is a I, I think this is a conversation that, that only happens because maybe we're in the same location, you know, like for many for a year or so we were obviously in different locations and you know you, you, you want to be mindful of each other's time and time zones and everything so we didn't really get as much of the kind of flex time per day per se during the day when you can discuss other ideas and and what's interesting is that I think in the last couple of months um, but especially I think in May it was interesting going back to my previous answer of, of slowing down I, I realize that sometimes you and I, we have about six hours of office hours per week. And during those six hours, we get a lot of things done. It's kind of our, for me, I find it to be a very productive time because we, we make decisions. That's when we decide on the kind of next step for the organization, things like that. And sometimes we fall into this place of being very operational about it, right? We're thinking it's like, what needs to be done now? What needs to be done next? And, and sometimes I feel like it's, it's still the most joyful thing in the world to do the work. I think we both enjoy that a lot. But I personally find that sometimes then we forget about the big picture, the, the dream that, that we have for the organization and, and kind of continuing that process of, of dreaming big. And so uh, I think in, in the month of May, we started having this conversation about uh, introducing these 
spark joy sessions where we would spend two of, our, of those six hours uh, yeah SJS you may call it <laughs> hashtag but you know I, 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 I just thought maybe it'd be interesting for us to introduce that as part of our, our work together where you know we do four hours of work that are very much focused on the kind of current decision making the, the, the now and, and kind of uh, you know the, the operations of the organization and then find two hours that are just for ourselves as founders to be able to just think of all of the ideas that we haven't actually explored as much or made time for because mm -hmm. we're always so focused on that, that that kind of you know that diagram where it's all about the urgent and important and the important and maybe sometimes things that maybe don't seem as important but actually might end up becoming a very big pillar for the organization is is crucial too so I'm really excited about us getting this started it's very early we don't have data per se on how it's going how our spark joy sessions are sparking joy in our lives and our work but I'm really excited for us to try this and then hopefully we can share more of uh, maybe there's a section in the newsletter about our spark joy ideas that we can share right, yeah. with the rest of you idea, in, the, in the future so yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. and tell us more personally like what sparks joy in your personal life like what should you do yeah, I mean, I think so many things that, that spark joy for me. I think the one that's right now very prevalent for me is is being connected to the people that I love the most. I think that is 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 absolutely the most most crucial part. I think human beings we crave human connection, we crave love, uh, and, and and caring for each other. And I think the the moments where I find that and and the, the different points in which I am able to find that, I feel like that's the for me the most joyous of, of moments. So. I'd say that's, that's what sparks joy for me. Mm. I, I relate, I relate. Yeah. Okay, so we are entering June, which is you know half a point of the calendar year. Um, and I think there's a lot that happened over the past five months, and I think there's a lot coming up, um, you know, moving forward for us also. So what are, what are you most proud of? Looking back at the past um, five months, what are you most proud of? Personally, it can be also professionally. Um, and also, like, what do you look forward to? The, you know, look forward to most um, as you are moving forward into the next um, few months of the year. First, uh, yeah, that's a great question. You know, there's so much. So yeah, I was thinking about this question a lot, and mm -hmm. there's so much to be proud of. I think in, in in a very short period of time, we went from you know graduating our, our largest ever group of Mahalda women producers from our program. Mm -hmm. um, that was in, in March. Um, to actually launching a new call, which just got launched earlier mm -hmm. this week, actually. Uh, so, so that's already making me super proud and excited to see how our team works. Uh, I think speaking of team, I'm so proud of the energy that, with which our team works. I think I, I don't have data to, to share with you all, but I think if I could go back and look at our five years, I feel like this is the, 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 the kind of peak of just extreme collaboration that's, that's happening uh, at, at all of the organizational level from our, our board. Uh, we've gotten some really interesting feedback and thanks to your leadership and, and Mohit as well of, of just organizing incredible board meetings and, and getting board participation to our management team in Costa Rica, to our facilitators in the community level and our producer partners. I really feel like we're getting this groove of knowing how to work with one another and how to work as a whole family, a, a Bean Voyage family and that, that I think makes me proud as well. Uh, so, so those are a couple of things that kind of immediately come to mind. More recently, I think the, in, in May, something that I'm, I'm quite proud of is I think how we have secured some amazing, amazing contracts all over the world. And, and, and for this, I have to give it back to you, really like Sanki, your leadership in this whole process from the very beginning, uh, years before. I mean, of course, now it's the fruits, right? But for, for the last you know three, four years, just constant work of, of building relationships with different buyers that are all very like-minded and value oriented and I think those were so crucial for us because it's so easy to lose yourself and your, your mission by looking at different buyers around the world and, and then start negotiating for prices and, and making sure that you know producers are, are at the forefront of it and, and I, correct me if I'm wrong but I think every single contract is being signed right now and every single price point is exactly what the producers um, wanted right and, and most of the times and I think that I think is such a big milestone for us. So very proud of you, Tark, um, sorry, um, and, and I think that's that's a, that's an incredible uh, achievement as an organization, and I'm proud of that as well. Mm, thank you, thank you for sharing. Yeah, I think there's so much that I am proud of also. Um, yeah, I think the whole growth has to be like you know the 
it, it's all gonna be like back and forth right now. Yeah, like I was just like thanking each other, which I think <laughs> isn't what you signed up for. But <laughs> yeah, but what are you most excited about moving forward? Yeah, that's a good question. I think. There's a few things happening. The, the new recruitment of producers, really excited for that. We're trying new things this time. We're trying to go across the country, find the communities where we haven't reached in the past and trying to see how we can get the message that there is this opportunity available to those communities. It's a very interesting, unique challenge. We're really excited to look, look at the problem of, of access to this program and, and finding the different solutions, whether it's you know, in marketing, whether it's in communications and, and trying to reach those communities, I think is gonna be a big piece so I'm really looking forward to that as well. Uh, I think a few other things that are coming up is that our facilitators for this year are starting right now. And you know we know all of them, they've, they've worked with us in the past. I'm just looking forward to building deeper relationships with them because they're all coming from different parts of the country. They, they know coffee and the industry much more than we do or we ever will. And I think I'm excited to deepen relationships to be able to you know, have a better understanding of what's going on in their communities what are their dreams and vision and being able to really welcome them mm -hmm. to the family. So really looking forward to that, those two things. What, what about you? What are you excited I, about? I think I'm also very excited about the, you know, the, the new, I guess like renewed relationship with our um, best leaders. They are incredible young um, you know, leaders in public farming communities and we've gotten to actually work with them in that last year already. And I think we were really inspired by their vision for sustainable coffee industry Board. So I am also as equally excited about um, what that will present to us as an organization and as you know, growing leaders um, also um, in the region. But yeah, um, yeah, that's it that I am um, you know, for this month. And thank you so much for joining us once again. And we look forward to seeing you again next month. And meanwhile, please keep in touch through our email, hello at pinvoyage.org, and follow us on all, all of our social media. Take Bye. care, everyone. Have a wonderful <laughs> Thank you.